Hi, Bees and Curls. It is Melissa. Welcome back. As you can tell from the title, we are back again with our Pan That Palette and One Month One Palette. Let's get straight into this video. I just want to say if you are new, welcome. I hope you guys enjoy yourself and don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. And if you're an OG, you already know the deal. And if you aren't familiar with Pan That Palette or Project Pan, it is basically a community here on YouTube where we actually concentrate on getting through makeup and, and put our concentration on what we already have versus bringing more into our space. But without further ado, let's get right into this video. So if you know that for the year I am panning a palette, which is the Lorac Pro palette, and I also am panning the NYX contour and highlight palette. I want to show you guys um, these in just a second, but let's get straight into the palette that I used before and the palette that I am picking for this month of February. Now for January, I did use the Tardius Pro this is a really good palette, you guys. I have, I thought about getting the Tarte Toasted. I thought about getting the Tartlet and Bloom palette, but I really do believe that this is a fusion of all of them. And this is how the palette looks. I don't want to blind you, so I'm not going to put this, um, put this one up. But I really do enjoy the shades. I know that it's upside down, but I feel like you get the best of this is an all matte palette with four shimmers. This is a good array of shades. And honestly, with these mattes and then these being toppers, if you wanted to use a glitter or something, you definitely could. I feel like that these can go foiled as well. And just so I could swatch, just so you could see, that was just like me dipping into it. And I could just go tap, 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 which I am going to do. Put that on the end and of course i'm about to do the same thing but these are so blendable and i really enjoyed this now i didn't feel like i got as much use as i would like but it's okay let me just get that over there yes just so it looks like the other one but i really do enjoy this palette I feel like that is definitely worth your money. And if you don't know which palette to get, get something. I would say get this palette just because it is. it has warm and cool tone. And a lot of times Tarte is known to either pull a cool tone palette like the Tarte palette, the original, or the Tarte in Bloom. That one's kind of like a mix of both of them. But definitely the Tarte Toasted is a warm girl's dream. So if you're like... If you love warm tones, the Tarte Toast, Toasted, the Tarte, is it called the Tardiest Toast, Toasted? I don't know, the Toasted Palette, okay? But this one is the Tardiest Pro, and Tarte is known for putting an immaculate mirror. I feel like that that's something that I will not compromise with. It does have a black. I feel like that this is definitely a product that... Um, you would want to keep in your collection just because it's a palette that you can use by itself. It, you don't have to use it with something else. So this is the palette that I used before. The next one I'm going to use is the Kat Von D Monarch palette. Now this one was discontinued or is discontinued and I just really like this palette. My sister actually gave this to me, Kat Von D. It comes with a mirror but I love the fact that first of all I wanted to get a palette that was um from Sephora because right now I am in Project Pan Rehaul. If you want to check out that, I'll leave it over in the cards. But it's basically every product that I'm using is from Sephora. You have warm tone, I have a cool tone, and then I have a neutral palette. I felt I feel like that I can get some use out of these. And this is a cream shade. Actually, this looks like it would be a really good under eye setting powder these two which is probably where they got the idea of the shade and light palette but I like the fact that it does have mattes in here and it does have some satin and some glitters as you can tell that one's very glittery and that one's that one is too I love this pink right here but I feel like um, the placement was well thought of in this palette and I can't wait to use this in February let me show you 
last month I kind of thought that I was going to hit pan in the bronzer and I still have it you guys but I did expand pan on the cream under eye shade I tend I, I did not realize I was gonna like that that much I thought I was gonna like this but I do tend to mix these now just because I want to I'm starting to see the rings before pan but like I said this one I didn't that was unexpected and it looks like I'm going to hit pan every time I think I'm gonna hit pan I don't but I definitely think I see the rings I think by next update I'll hit pan on this one and then so my goal would be to hit pan on this to expand this and to also hit pan on the yellow that is what I'm thinking about for the month of uh, February because I like I said I definitely want to get through those this one is more of a warm tone so yeah definitely want to get through this okay so on to the Lorac Pro palette let's go through this now this is taking an unexpected turn for me because I thought that the neutral shades is what I would pan first well you guys I am panning these I actually expanded the pan a little bit in sable but I actually hit pan on espresso which I am so happy and excited about but I also have been using that in the black mixing it for for my brows and I've also been lining and smoking the outer corner I have noticed with the Lorac shadows is that the denser the brush the easier it is to hit pan because I, these are like for fluffier brushes so I don't pick up as much product but I guess I pick up a lot of product when I use these and so I've hit pan on both of those and so the goal is to hit pan in every pan or in every shadow in this palette which I feel like is doable I just need to figure out different ways let me know if you have a YouTube channel and if you have panned Lorac Pro what are some good ways to hit pan fast? I I guess I could use these as highlighters. I have not yet. The goal is to hit pan in February to hit pan here and to expand the pan in Sable. I really like this shade. I did not realize I would like this shade and I definitely want to get used more of my cool tone shades because I feel like my warm tone shades are my go-tos but yes i want to definitely hit pan on taupe and i feel like if i hit pan at least once a month that by september i would have hit pan in all of these like to hit two two pans in each you know each month so i need to figure out what i'm going to do with this white shade i have no earthly idea i can definitely set i'll have to mix these two but yeah i have a big dip in here so I'm going to show you last month's and then I will show you this month's and show you the difference and also I will show you I will show you the NYX of last month which was I hit pan last month on this shade but I've only expanded the pan and maybe I can expand the pan this a little bit more hopefully by spring I am completely done with this I want to hit pan in this and next month I want to hit pan in this shade so really excited about that I hope you guys are panning something or getting through your makeup getting through items in your collection whether it's skincare hair care you know just make it a point I've learned that if you make a set a goal that you're more susceptible to hit the goal rather than just like a hit and miss and hoping that it happens. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this inspired you to finish something that you always wanted to go ahead and finish up those, you know, those items that are almost done. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next update. Bye loveys.